a lot of people often have said that being divorced has actually made parenting more difficult. Has that been your experience? It's made parenting better for me. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be reacting to a video titled Addressing the Single Mom Stigma. Let's go ahead and get right into this video. Make sure you guys don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Go ahead and show your support to the channel. So here we go. As you know, as a political commentator, single moms get a bad rap and they've Absolutely. been used as political punch bags. Yeah. Like we are just the dredge of the United States. I was married to a very wealthy man. I got a divorce, walked away from a million dollar lifestyle in South Florida because that was the best thing to give to my son was a better life, not with him. So uh, I'm hoping to give more context in regards to that. Cause she's basically saying she had a million dollar guy. Her child had a million dollar lifestyle, but ultimately she walked away from that. And she said that was the best case scenario mm -hmm. for her child. Um, I mean, what are your thoughts on that? I honestly don't really see much of an issue at this point. Mm -hmm. um, seems like they had a very good lifestyle, um, I guess, in regards to finances. So mm -hmm. hopefully she does get more into it. It just sometimes bothers me how sometimes single moms just catch such a bad rap. Yeah. Like we are just out here just willy nilly having babies with anybody just because we don't have anything else better to do. I know a lot of people that are married that are single moms because people. <laughs> Again, I wish she had more context to that. I'm assuming maybe the f the father's distant in the situation or like I'm not too sure what she means by that. Uh, but what are your thoughts on that? No, I think um, she was trying to say more like so because the the da the father is absent or he's always out working, whatever the case may be, mm. um, they feel like a single mom because they're all like all the responsibilities on them. I think that's probably in regards to raising that. the child. Yes. Maybe in the household, things like that. Like yeah. If the guy's always, uh, if the husband's always gone. But right. I would, I mean, I would argue to say, I mean, the bill's got to be paid, right? There needs to be a roof over mm -hmm. your head. There needs to be food in the fridge. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, ultimately, if he's doing that, I mean, we're just assuming, yeah, right? Because there's, there's no real information here. But if he's doing that and if he's providing, I mean, ultimately, and all you have to do is just take care of a child. I mean, I mean, yeah. that's not, that's not, that's not a horrible life. You know no, what I mean? That's not a not. horrible life. Yeah. So maybe it's just, we're, we're not, we, we don't know the whole story. Yeah. Right? So fair yeah. enough. Uh, okay. No, I mean, I'm very serious. I have a lot of friends who are married to very wealthy men and they're married to the lifestyle. And they think that the baby is going to save the marriage. Babies don't save marriage. They just prolong bad marriages. All right. So I guess what she's saying is the marriage was bad to begin with. Mm. And ultimately they had a child. And I guess they wanted to save the marriage by having a child. So I would agree with that. I mean, if the relationship is bad to begin with or, or the marriage is bad and, you know, you just have a bad situation, the child won't save that. Yeah. It would just make it worse. If anything, it would highlight um, the uh insufficiencies in the marriage and ultimately the child's gonna suffer yeah but i mean at the end of the day if you're a woman i mean you're opening your legs to have a child I, you know what i mean so mm -hmm. there should be some accountability there because a you don't have to have sex b you could just simply fall for a divorce or c just put a condom on no one wants to grow up and be a single mom you're not on your knees as a little girl saying i want to grow up and be a single mom no excuse me my name is lisa I have, I think, a unique experience. I have three sets of children. They range from 35 to 11. My children all have separate fathers. All right, so... <laughs> <laughs> so she has four kids, right? Did she say four or three sets? I think she said three sets. Three sets, but they all have different dads. Yep. I mean, again, you chose that right unless the guys force themselves which i don't know if she's going to mention that right but assuming that it was consensual ultimately you chose those men so you can't come back and say the men are this the men are that and kind of have this victim role because you should have ultimately vetted these men properly so that you're not in this situation uh, but what are your thoughts on that to have three sets with three different men, um, I honestly don't, that is not the ideal situation, obviously. Right. Um, and you, sh I think this goes back to having maybe some sexual discipline 
Yeah. Um, that would also help in this Put scenario. Put a condom on. Yeah, and just really making sure you're vetting out the person before laying down with them. You yep. know what I mean? Fair enough. That with all four of the children and the three fathers, they have partnered with me every step of the way. A lot of people often have said that being divorced has actually made parenting more difficult. Has that been your experience? It's made parenting better for me. <laughs> I'm trying to rationalize this in my head. She's basically saying that divorcing her husband, removing the father out of the situation or out of the home has ultimately amplified and increased her raising a child. It's more it's more productive and 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 I guess beneficial. <laughs> well, let me ask this though. Is it beneficial to the children? Right. Because that's the whole point. That's the whole point. Right? It's not about you. Wait, wait, wait. Say that again so that people hear. It's made it better for me. I mean, being divorced. Because I still get to explore things that are important to me. I now have 50% of my time free to focus on things that are important to me. If I was a full-time mom, I couldn't do that. I would be on a soccer field every weekend. I would be at basketball lessons and tutoring sessions. But because we split that partnership 50-50, I have a lot more time to focus on things that are important to me. I, okay, wait, I'm confused. Because if if you're talking with your husband, right? And you're like, babe, like, babe I need some time for myself to, to focus on certain things, like whatever. Yeah. You should have an open conversation. You can do that in the same house. Yeah, well, like, it boils down to <laughs> communication and mm -hmm. setting expectations. Mm -hmm. If you're in a relationship and, you know, maybe you're going through something personally, like communicate, right? Yeah. Communicate, set the expectation. Hey, maybe I need, you know, an hour on a Saturday to, I don't know, just go for a walk or whatever the situation is, mm -hmm. then do that, right? You shouldn't just end it <laughs> and ultimately have the child suffer in the process. You said that nobody you know nobody decides that they want to be a single mom but you know for me some of us that's that's just not true you know i didn't decide to say be a single mom i didn't decide to be a mom at, at, at all and i needed to hear it's time to stop i needed to hear pat you on the head your legs fly open i needed to hear close them i needed to hear that subsequent pregnancy was a real issue i'd never heard of that i needed commentators i needed healthy start i needed people places things to say hey because i didn't choose to be a mom i said thank you and a baby was a result i said um i need somewhere to be tonight you understand while i chose to have those babies after becoming pregnant um i didn't necessarily understand the choice that i was making getting to it i know sex led to babies she is making some good points here saying that like she just didn't know right and um and she needed someone to really you know be give there her, give her a little smack across the head being like listen don't do this anymore like you really need to you know smarten up yeah and she took it and because she didn't realize that she needed to hear it and right. obviously that was the aftermath like afterwards mm -hmm. someone told her that um so now she knows better some of the things that i needed to survive were going to lead to that and so for those women who looked at me sideways when i had one in a stroller and one on my back it took me quite a many years to get it but understanding what subsequent pregnancy is and continuing to hear that this does not have to be my choice, that this does not have to be my circumstance. I don't have to place myself in situations where this is going to be my end result. Some of us need that. Everybody, some of us, you know, experiences our teacher. All right, guys. So we're going to go ahead and end this video. Um, I mean, the last lady, she's basically speaking in retrospect, like, hey, these actions again cause a reaction this is the end result and instead of saying you know like yeah you know i'm strong and liberated and free she has more of a realistic um thought pattern behind uh the consequences that she's currently facing and i think that um again she has the best points out the three uh but what are your final thoughts yeah no i think this needs to be said more to younger girls mm -hmm. um just so then every like so they are aware that you don't need to be in this situation because what happens is that if no one tells them right if you come from a single parent household maybe no one teaches you how to you know be more disciplined 
with your body and things like that for for young girls so yeah. it's important to have this this message be spread across to say like listen you really need to be careful because this is the situation that can happen to you mm -hmm. and if you're not careful <clears throat> You know what I mean? It, being yeah. a single mom is not the ideal situation, right? So teaching young girls the right way to go about it. So Yeah, knowledge important. is power. And especially in the black community, we have um, a gap in wealth when you look at um, other races and things of that nature. And I mean, just look at what they're doing, right? They have two parents in the household. They get married. They have children. You know, they keep the wealth within the family mm -hmm. and they just repeat. And they pass it down, yeah. And they pass it down, right, from generation to generation. So that's what we need to start doing uh, as a black community versus, you know, making excuses for certain things and, you know, pandering to women and, and saying it's all right, like, don't worry about it. it. You know, boss level up, be a diva, whatever. And in reality, it's actually hurting the community because here you have a result of that, right? Mm -hmm. There's no knowledge. There's no substance there, right? So... Yeah. Anyways, guys, we're going to go ahead and end this video. If you like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time. Bye, guys.